There are only seven rescues in the world for dogs that are deaf. And one of them is right here in Oregon. Photojournalist Patty Norman shows us how those rescuers save then train dogs from all over the country. Here we come. My name is Chelsea Tuning, and this is Picasso. This is his all-time favorite thing to do. I am the trainer here with Deaf Dogs of Oregon and co-founder. Picasso is completely deaf. He was born deaf. I received an email from Chelsea asking me if I still had my deaf dog. She had done some research into people that had deaf dogs, and in most cases, people didn't have their dog any longer because they didn't know how to train or didn't know what to do with it. As we got into it more, we discovered that there were all these dogs out there that were deaf that needed rescue, and decided that maybe we should do something about the fact that people did not keep their deaf dogs because uh, we loved ours. Dogs were not staying in their homes. People didn't know how to communicate with them, and if you look for trainers on the internet, it's really, really hard to find people who will train deaf dogs. In other parts of the country, they do have much more of an overpopulation of dogs. If a dog comes into a shelter and it's deaf or deaf and blind, in many cases it will not get adopted, it will get overlooked. The dog is often euthanized simply because it's deaf. It's a real tragedy because most of the dogs you see here now are wonderful, wonderful pets. Good girl. The biggest thing that we encountered with people with deaf dogs was, I don't know how to get the dog's attention, I don't know how to make it pay attention to me. When he was about one and a half, he realized that if he didn't look at me, he didn't have to pay attention. I went to call him and he just went, I have to be able to touch him to get his attention. Normally I'd go, easy, but I can't do that with a deaf dog, so I have to come in and touch and say, hey, shh, be calm. Truly a deaf dog can do anything a hearing dog can do, but here, any dog should be trained, no matter what, but a deaf dog really has to be trained. That connection that you get with just how they look at you in your face and just the way they connect with you, there's just nothing like it. If we do bring the deaf dogs up here, they do get adopted. If it wasn't for our rescue or other rescues like us, they would not be here and be enriching people's lives the way they are. One of the most satisfying things about running the rescue is not only saving the dog. He is so full of joy, this dog. But matching the dog with a family right. who just absolutely loves the dog, that's very, very rewarding for us. This is what it's like to have a large group of deaf dogs. Come here. Come here. Well, this group has saved more than 70 deaf dogs in the past five years. They're from all over the country. If you want to help out with the group, we have put a link to their website on our website, katu.com. Click on hot links.